Hey, welcome to Tutorials Point. We are continuing to build our hospital landing page using React.js. You can find the links for GitHub and previous part in the description below. Now in this video, we will build the navbar component. Okay, now in our navbar, let me just close this terminal by pressing Ctrl J. And here in my navbar.jss, let me just collapse this. Okay, now first, this div, all right. The first div, let me give it a class. Uh, the class name is going to be navbar container, it will contain the entire navbar for us. Okay, now in here, we are going to have three divs, all right. Understand this we are going to have three divs. The first div will hold our logo, all right. Simple first div will hold our logo, the second logo, I mean to say, the second div will hold our nav items. So, I'll give it a class of nav items, all right. And the third div will hold our side nav items. So I'll write side nav items. Hit enter. Okay, so we have three divs. Let me just format. Okay, as you can see, we have three divs inside this nav bar container div. Okay. Now, uh, for the first div in our logo, we are going to simply ha have an image tag for our logo. And of course, let me write an alternative name of logo. And for the source, let me just import our logo. As you can see, if we go to File Explorer, in our assets, as you can see, we are going to have this logo.png in our images folder. So let me just use it. So here I'm going to import it. I'll write import logo from something like this, assets, images, and then logo.png. And we are going to use it here. And to use JavaScript, we need curly braces. And in here, I'll write logo. Okay. So I will hit save. Let's go back to browser to check if the logo is there. As you can see, the logo is here. Perfect. Okay. Back to Visual Studio Code. After this, in our nav items, what it is going to be. All right. Now, in our nav items, simply we are going to have all the nav items that I showed you earlier. So I will create the nav items are uh, five, I guess. So I will create five H3 tags. And let's start with the first one. It is medical care. The second one is medical health. Okay. Uh, the third one is medical uh, test. Fourth one is medical lab. Let's have this end capital. We can also use CSS to capitalize, but yeah, we can do it here right as well. Medical contact. Okay, let me save it. Let's go to browser to check. Yeah, of course, it's here. Great. Okay, back to VS Code. And the third div is going to have our side now items. So another H3 tag that will be login. And of course, an image for our search icon. So I'll create image. Let's give it an alternate name of search. Now for this uh, image, let's go back to the assets folder. And in our assets folder, if you we have this search.png, we will use it, okay? So let's go back. We need to import it first. I'll write import search from, okay, assets images and then search.png and we are going to use this search here but we need curly braces so touch hit save uh, let's go back to our browser as you can see we have this icon all right so this is the basic html we need for our navbar now we need to style it okay so i'll just go to navbar.css all right Okay, so in our navbar.css, we can also split it so that we get an idea of what element we are actually targeting, right? Something like this. All right. Now, let us start with our navbar container. So, I'll write a navbar container. Now, inside nav navbar container, I'm going to give it a display of flex and then an align. Okay, wait. All right. So, just give it align items center. It's save let's go back to this all right okay so as you can see display flex did that and now we need some gap we can use the gap property but i'm going to use something more dynamic let's say justify content i'll write space between hit save let's go back to browser 
that is too much of a space we don't need that much i'll just write space uh, evenly okay save it again let's go back to check okay it looks fine for now all right but this is like you know uh, okay let's first target our next divs let's first target this image so we have this class name uh, logo for this div that contains this image so i'll go here and i'll target this logo and inside logo we have an image right an image element for that i'll just give it a width of 115 pixels and of course the logo always has a cursor pointer so i'll write cursor pointer let's save it go back to browser and as you can see the cursor is point pointer now okay let's go back to visual studio code all right now let's target our nav items so i'll write nav items now inside our nav items i'm just going to give them a display of flex uh, because they are you know in this very direction so i'll just save it go back and as you can see now they are in horizontally aligned now let's do let's give them some gap right so let's say a gap of 30 pixels save it try again yeah they look okay now all right okay what is next after this we need to change uh, their fonts these now items their font look awful i mean the font weight right and the font size so let's change it go back now let's target these h3s which are inside our nav items right so i'll write and nav items have h3 tags inside let's target them now inside we are going to have a font weight of 400 great and a font size of course of 16 pixel it is by default by the way or i don't know it's 18 or 16 i guess it's 16 anyways the cursor will be pointer let's save this go back to browser yeah see they look much much better okay what is next we can also give them some hover effect since the color of this uh, landing page react.js project is blue so on hover we will give them a blue color text right so i'm just going to say let me just copy it now items h3 so whenever someone hovers on them what we are going to do is change the color and the color i have already selected is 174eb2 okay it's blue so save it let's go back and check as you can see they look fine okay all right we are done with the now items then we have the side now items all right so we are of course going to use display flex so that they are alongside each other and not you know below right so let's go back to visual studio code and let's target our side nav items so i'll write a side nav items and for the side nav items i will give them a display of flex okay let's check okay so they are like this what else can we do is we can have align items center and we also should give them a gap so i'll give them a gap of 16 pixels let's check yeah that's fine now we need to target these right so what i'm going to do is firstly i'm going to target this h3 the login one right so i'll just copy this and i'll write dot side nav items has an h3 inside it okay now for that h3 the font size should be uh, let's say 16 pixels and the font page should be 400 and of course let's just save it to check it first all right okay it's fine let's give it maybe color so i'll give it a color the same color we gave to the hover effects of our h3 in the nav items okay and after that of course we are going to have cursor pointer save it let's check it as you can see it has a blue color and a cursor pointer perfect now we are going to target this image this search icon image right so i'm going to write uh, side nav items has an image tag inside target that one give it a width of 30 pixels let us say and of course a cursor of pointer let's save it let's go back to our browser and yeah as you can see everything looks okay so i think yeah that is pretty much it for our nav bar i think it is very much stick to the top we should give it a margin top or something right so that it looks much better 
So I'll go to Visual Studio Code and here for our navbar container, I'm actually going to give it a margin top of let's say 20 pixels. Let's check it. A bit more we can, of course, 24 pixels. All right, this looks perfect for now. All right, so we have just completed our navbar. So let me just close the navbar. Okay, let's go back to Explorer. Now after our navbar, let me just close this. Yeah, so after our navbar, we are going to design our banner component. That will be it for this video. In the next video, we will build the banner component. Now make sure to like this video, share it with your friends and I will see you in the next one.